Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use templates with Flask Blueprints. So in the previous video, I introduced you to Blueprints, and in this video, I want to continue by just showing you how you can have templates for each Blueprint instead of having like a global template folder. So just to refresh your memory, I have my app from the last video, and it has two Blueprints, and if I go to uh, my app, so it's just port 5000, I have the home page for the site blueprint. And then for the API blueprint, I have get data and I get some data here. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to create a third blueprint called admin. And then I'm going to bring in some templates, one for the site blueprint and one for the admin blueprint. So what I'll do is I'll make a directory called admin. And in that directory, I'm going to create a routes file. So my app admin then routes.py. Go ahead and open that up and I'll just do the blueprint stuff. So I'll bring it over from uh, one of the other ones that I have. So routes site is going to be pretty similar. So remember, import blueprint from Flask, and then you can instantiate the blueprint. So in this case, I'll call the blueprint admin, and then the name will be admin as well. And then we have to use the blueprint object to use the route decorator. So admin routes and I'll call this admin index, and then I'll return uh, some render template that I'm going to create in a moment. So let me import this. And remember, if we go back to the API, you see we can have a URL prefix as well. So let me just bring that over to the admin because I want to have an admin URL prefix. All right. And then finally, I have to import the the file and import the blueprint object. So admin and then register it. So app register blueprints admin. Okay. So we have the blueprint working. So now what I want to do is I want to bring in some templates and some static files. So I'm going to put the static files in the main project directory, and then I'll put the templates in each one of the uh, directories for admin and site. So let me bring in the static files first. So I have a folder called blue short for blueprints. So uh, copy dash R and it's in a home directory and it's called blue should be blue twice and then static. So I just want to bring that over into flask uh, blueprint example slash my app. And we'll bring that in. And if we look here, we now have those static files. So it's just some bootstrap stuff that I have here. Now what I want to do is I want to bring in the templates for both site and admin. So if I, do the same thing. I'll copy from my blue, blue directory. And then I should have something called admin and then templates. And I'll just bring that into my project. So flask blueprint example, my app, and then I have my admin directory and I'm copying the templates into admin. And I'll pretty much do the same thing for the site. And then I'll show you the templates once I have them copied over. So flask blueprint example, and then uh, my app and site. Okay, so now let's look at what we have. So inside the admin directory, I have this templates. And inside of here, I have another directory called templates, or, or excuse me, called admin. And I'll explain that in just a moment. And I just have a template file. So it really doesn't do anything special. But what I want to do is I want to specify the template directory. So if I go over to my admin routes, I can say template folder, and then I can pass in a directory that's relative to this uh, admin blueprint. So for example, I can say uh, templates here, and it's gonna look at a template folder inside of the admin blueprint. If I didn't have this, it will look at the templates directory inside of my project as a whole. So what I can do is I can bring this over into the site blueprint as well. And then I can use render template to display it. So render template. And if we look at the template that I have index, it's just another bootstrap template. So we'll see what it actually looks like when I load it in, but it's inside of a directory called site as well in the templates folder. So render template site slash index. And the reason why you put another directory is because flask will combine all these and it makes it easier to reference the files when you prepend them with a directory called the name of your blueprint. And then I'll do the same thing with the admin. So uh, admin slash index HTML, uh, render template. So now let's try running our app. And 
we'll go back. So we'll go back to the regular site, which is just the index. And now we have this bootstrap template and this is for the sites. And if I go to slash admin, I have another template and I just hit my keyboard. I have another template for the admin dashboard. So this template is in a completely different directory than the uh, template for the site. And the reason why you would do this is just to keep some separation. So perhaps you can use the same admin blueprints for multiple projects. You basically just copy the folder and move it to your different projects. And then you can import those uh, routes, register the blueprint on the app object, and then you'll be able to use the admin stuff in any project that you have. So that's all I want to cover in this video. If you have any questions about this process of using templates with blueprints and Flask, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.